What is going on guys? Tomcat here and today I'm bringing you guys another Euro Truck Simulator 2 episode. Now in this episode I'm going to be doing um, another delivery but I'm going to try and make this one uh, some. I'm going to try and choose some pretty interesting cargo because I've been ranking up a little bit um, just to see what kind of cargo I can get access to. Um, you can see my uh, preferred Scania truck right here. I want to be able to save up some more money though. I've got like 28,000 euros right now. I want to be able to save, save up some more so I can take out a loan and um, get maybe all around a 500 horsepower uh, Scania. So we should be able to uh, we should be able to get that once we uh, once we get enough money. I don't know if we can get that. Probably won't get to that in the, in this um, in this episode. But I want to go to the job market and quick job and see what I can find. Now I have um, adjusted the volume a little bit of the game since the last episode. So hopefully it's not like too loud. I really hope it's not too loud. Um, let's see what we have access to. We could deliver this uh, this excavator. Um, or we could, actually, let's see, we could deliver, um, or we could deliver diggers from, let's see, how far is this route? Okay, to Kassel, I think that's, I guess that's how you would say it, um, into sort of central Germany. Um, a decent pay for that one. I mean, I kind of like to do interesting jobs. I don't always go for the highest, like the absolute highest paying one, because, I mean, the pressure tanks are interesting and all. But, um, I don't know, the diggers seem a little bit more interesting for some reason. So, let's go ahead and, uh, let's go ahead and do this one. And the cool part about it is that we get to stick with a Scania truck, because Scanias are my, or well, are some of my favorite trucks. I like Scanias and Volvos, but let's go ahead and switch views. And, oh, wow. Those are quite large. Larger than I expected them to be, actually. Let's go ahead and get back inside. Alright. Let's get this going. Okay, so pulling out of the... Okay, come on, turn signal work. <laughs> so, pulling out of the loading dock here. I'm um, just waiting for this. Wow. You're seriously going really slow. Thank you. Uh-oh. Uh please slow down, sir. Slow down. Oh, God. Oh, I just missed him. I just missed him. Only have to yield, so look, look. I think I got enough time. Gonna try and follow, like some decent road rules in this video like compared to the uh as co as compared to the last one i mean the last one i was okay but i didn't quite follow all of the like road rules and you're never going to be able to follow all of them um especially in a game but um i mean i try my best in this game to drive somewhat realistically um petrol i guess that was for petrol petrol um but um oh wow okay so it's like right there we could actually get filled up right now that would be perfect that would be perfect. So let's actually just slow down a bit and pull in here and get uh, get filled up. I can turn off my turn signal. All right, let's get parked. Alrighty, let's fill this thing up. Press enter. All right, I wonder how much we're gonna end up putting in this thing. Cause last time I think it was about six hundred. Oh wow, that's not that much. Okay, let's go then. Not bad at all. My goal for this is to get from, uh, is to get from the, uh, the, basically the start to where I'm going with zero, uh, zero damage whatsoever. Like, no damage at all. Zero damage. So, we'll see if we can, uh, see if we can do that. Yep, we should be able to pull out right now behind this Ford Focus. This, uh, this, this Scania definitely picks up, uh, <laughs> It picks up off the line a lot better than, uh, a lot better than one of the trucks I drove recently. I can't remember what it was. I think it was, uh, oh gosh, I've completely forgotten what it was. I've completely, completely forgotten, uh, the, that other truck that it was, <laughs> that I drove recently. I've completely forgotten what it was. Come on, stay on the road. I don't like it when I hear that noise. Slow down. Definitely have to, uh. Adjust your braking when you're carrying something as heavy as two diggers And also something it was something funny. I remember in the last video uh, last Euro truck video that I did a lot of you guys um, A lot of my European subscribers were telling me that like I kept saying highway and they were like no 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 It's motorway. You got to say motorway So I'll work on that. I'll work on that because being an American and living in America my whole life I tend to say highway so uh, I'll definitely have to get used to saying motorway. 
But um, also, after turning up the graphics on this game, I must... Oh, slow down, slow down. But yeah, I must say that the uh, the graphics are... They look really nice, especially for what the game is and how big it is, like how big the world is. It's a really nice looking game. I mean, it's not, you know, it's not like fours of five levels of graphics, but it's definitely not bad. It's 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 not not anything to sneeze at as far as graphics go. It's not bad at all. Shouldn't be anybody coming. Uh oh, uh oh. Turn faster. God, go faster, freaking focus. Alright, get over in this lane. Watch that outside mirror. Not bad. Not bad. I didn't even veer off into the other lane. Didn't even veer off into the other lane. That's funny. Not well, not funny, but lucky, because normally I'll veer off into the other lane. Hello, log truck. Uh oh. Going off in the middle of the road. That could have caused me some damage. But yeah, the last time. Uh, also, the last time I was uh, doing an episode of this, I hung out in the uh, the left lane a lot, which is not what you're supposed to do. Not what you're supposed to do whatsoever, and I kind of got a little bit of, uh, I don't know, a little bit, I got some feedback in the comments for that. People telling me, Wait, why are you hanging out in the left lane? Looks like it might storm soon, actually. I, oh, it's raining. The uh, light's on, because I know you get a warning for that. Is, what is... I don't know how you use your wipers, but I got my lights on, so I should be okay. In fact, I'm going to pause and go to my options and the keyboard and just see what my wipers are. If I can find it. Wipers are the P key. Why are wipers P instead of freaking W? Makes no sense. Alright, turn my wipers on. Oh yeah, much better. Slow down, slow down. <gasps> oh, we're going to crash! Damn it. Crap. Crash. Oh, crash offense. Dang it. Wow, really? I didn't. I wasn't focusing on. Oh, come on, go. Aren't you gonna. Okay, never mind. It's red. It's red. Never mind then. Well, give us a chance to actually look around the interior of our truck. And by the way, when I said um, zero damage, I meant zero damage to, car to cargo. Now, why did it give me another crash offense? Did I hit somebody with the trailer now? Good grief! Alright, I'm gonna go straight because that's the way the GPS is telling me to go. Um, let's see. Not F3, what the heck. F... I did not mean to adjust it that many times. F6. F7 should tell me. Okay, 0% damage to the cargo. So that's what I want to keep. Um, is 0% damage to the cargo. And by the way, I like the, uh... The, uh, the GPS a whole lot better when you take that surround thing off of it. I think it works much better and I think it's, uh... I don't know, it just looks better. It, it, it's just, it's less in the way, and it's less just, it's less in your face, I think, than the other, uh, than the other version. But, uh, but let me just say that the, the quality of the rain on the windshield, it, that is top notch, man. That is, that is really, really top notch. My cargo was swaying all over the place back there, though. No idea what was up with that. Gotta be careful with my steering inputs with cargo this heavy. I don't know if it's the rain reflecting off of my mirrors that's, like, creating some kind of illusion or something. I'm not sure. But, uh-oh, we want to be over here. Never mind. We want to be over in this lane. All right, start slowing down. Start slowing down. Get a little bit of a climb, but, st but still try to keep some momentum. Because if you don't keep any momentum up these hills, then you're going to suck as far as getting up the hill. Um, I had a huge amount of trouble when I was carrying some pressure tanks just trying to get up hills. I mean, it was really dang hard. Really, really freaking hard. Let's pull over. There we go. Pull over into this lane because I think that that far right lane is going to end soon. If it doesn't end, I'll get back over, but... I don't think it's, uh... Yeah, I don't think it's... Okay, never mind. I don't think it's ending. So we could stay over here. Yeah, we could stay over here. At least for a little while, because it should go off on this exit. Yeah, 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 it's gonna go off on this exit so we can get back in the middle lane, because the middle lane is gonna end up being the right lane once we're done with that. Yeah, see, you can see it got off onto the exit. Um, going to... I have no idea how to pronounce that. Alstfat. I have no idea. I have no idea. I probably just murdered that pronunciation. Headlight, you... They were on! They were on! Or not, I mean, I don't know if it, like, if it was like, oh, you don't have your brights on, or what? 
Never mind, I guess. Oh, we gotta get off here. I wasn't paying attention to the signs. We gotta get off here. I guess Ausfahrt, or whatever that is, means exit. Oh, jeez. Oh, jeez. Yeah, I did not get on the brakes enough back there. Did not get on the brakes enough. But, um, I did want to talk a little bit about some of the mods I want to try for this game, because I've, I've been watching... Um, I don't know if you guys, if anybody that watches uh, Euro Truck videos probably knows um, Squirrel Nuts, and I've watched a lot of his Euro Truck videos, and especially his mod videos of his like oversized loads and long uh, trailers, and especially modded uh, trucks like Kenworths and stuff like that. And I'll be the first to tell you, I love American trucks. I love European trucks as well, but I love American trucks too, and I definitely want to try having some of those um, in the game. So I want to try. Um, I want to try uh, modding those in sometime. Not, I don't know if I want to do it anytime soon, but maybe like once I get further ahead in the game, um, I'll mod some of those in here and uh, play around with those because I think they'd be really fun to you. Oh God! I was like, you are not gonna pull out, sir. No way. No sir. You are not gonna pull out, sir. No sir. <laughs> no sir. Nice little country back road though. I love how they take you on. Like, the, the routes in this game take you through highways and back roads. You know, it's not just highways, but it's not just back roads either. I mean, some of the routes are just highways, some of the routes are just back roads, but my favorite routes are um, routes where there are, high, where, where there are highways and back roads, because those are, like, the most fun. Stop raining so I can turn off the wipers. And I can turn my lights back off. Actually, if we light up, there we go. I prefer to have the dash lit up, just like personal preference. I like to have the dash lit up. Um, I don't know why. I just, like, in fact, well, I don't know. Not now. In fact, not now. I'll just leave it. Um, I'll just leave that off for now. Looks like there's a, uh, yeah, there's kind of a rest stop coming up, but we don't really need to stop because we're close. I mean, close enough at least because a minute in Euro Truck time is kind of equal to two seconds. So. I mean, if a, if, a, if a minute in Euro Truck time is equal to two seconds, then that must mean an hour in Euro Truck time is equal to, like, two minutes? I don't know. Um, I kind of worked out that's what, that, that that's what it means. Um, so, I mean, hopefully that's what it means. But, um, which means we're about, we should be about maybe two minutes away. Maybe, yeah, about two minutes away from our destination, maybe. Um, oh, wow, we're going 60. Yeah, I wasn't even paying attention, but we're going pretty fast, actually. Gonna need to keep that under control since I have a such a massive trailer, but we're going quite fast. 70. Let's see if we can actually keep this pace going. Maybe, maybe not. Depends on... Yeah, okay, maybe not. I'm gonna have to lift. Brake a little bit. Make sure I don't hit this mini. <laughs> Make sure I don't, like, just absolutely demolish that mini. Because I definitely wouldn't want to do that. To a poor little mini. Poor little defenseless mini. <laughs> poor little defenseless mini. It is defenseless against my monstrous Scania. <laughs> okay, we're gonna pass you. Yeah, you're slow. You're really slow. <laughs> you're really slow. And behind this BMW 5 Series, I'm breaking a lot. And I braked way too much and slowed, slowed down a lot, so... And the gearbox decided, uh, I don't think I'll shift down today. I don't feel like downshifting today. So, so it was like, I'll stay in ninth gear and then go up to 10th when you're still at under 40 miles an hour. We can pass this 5 Series. We got enough room. Yeah, we got more than enough room to pass this 5 Series, or that 5 Series, now that we left it behind. <laughs> now that we left it behind. We have definitely also a big enough gap to get in behind this Golf. Surprised that there hasn't been anybody coming the other way. Just like riding this golf's bumper right now. He must be like so freaked out right right now. So freaked out like, oh my god, there's a monstrous truck behind me. What are you going to do about it? Dang, the golf is just slowing down and slowing down and slowing down. I don't even get it. Freaking, oh man, what type of truck is that? I don't remember, a Majestic. That's what it is. I want to get some of the Mercedes trucks in here, though, because they look pretty cool. They look really cool, actually. Starting to close in on the destination now. I really want to pass this Golf, and I will as soon as I get a chance. But I think this... I don't think that gap between the Golf and the, uh, I guess, Volvo ahead of it 
I don't think that gap's big enough, to be honest with you. I really don't think that that gap is big enough. Wow, I'm just noticing the lighting has just, like, has just changed, like, just with the sun. That makes the interior of this truck look beautiful. Wow. And then you got the, you got the in-dash GPS, and you got everything. That, that is, like, really, really nice. I, I mean, that's really, really freaking nice. We're coming up on our, uh, coming up on our destination in, uh, Cassel or Castle. I don't know what it, how you would pronounce it. But, uh, I'm sure somebody might tell me in the comment section below. Um, because my pronunciation is probably incorrect. Um, we've also discovered a new location, which means we can get new jobs. Slow down! Whew, I was, I was prepared to turn to the side because I wasn't sure if I was gonna hit him or not. But, yeah, we can click on our turn signal now because we're gonna be turning right up here. That truck's not turning. Let's see. I don't think... Oh, the golf is turning. I was gonna... Never! Dang it! Now we gotta wait for this Mini to go. But it's, it's okay, because usually the red lights in this game aren't that long. Let's actually look outside the truck. Cargo is perfectly intact. Very nice. Very nice. We got a tanker truck back there. We could actually move up a little bit onto this golf right here. Oh god, he's probably really scared. It's like, hello? Hello, golf! <laughs> Alright, let's go. Forgot to put that turn signal on again. Going a little wide, don't want to clip the curb. Because clipping the curb can slow you down and risk tipping your cargo, especially if it's top-heavy cargo like these, uh, like these tractors or diggers, whatever you want to call them. Alright, we're almost there. Is this it? Yes, it is. Alright, get that turn signal. Right, and I'm gonna try and do a much better job of trailer uh, backing than I did last time. Because last time, I did a dismal job. So, we'll see what I can do this time. Alright, I do have to use the exterior view for this. Like, hopefully, maybe, like, eventually, I will not have to use the exterior view anymore um, for trailer backing. Because um, I know some people could do it in first person just fine. I'm not at that stage yet. I'm not at that level yet, that skill level. For trailer parking, but um, oh man, we almost jackknifed back there. That would have been horrible. Not bad though, lining up pretty well. Pull forward a little bit. All right, stop, and let's straighten out the wheels. Yeah, there we go. Straighten out the front wheels. Not bad. We're gonna turn the other way a little bit. Here we go. Good, 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 good. Good. Turn back the other way. Uh oh. Come on then. Oh, I don't know if we'll get this on our first try. Yeah, no, we'll have to reposition just a little bit, but we are so close to uh, to getting that perfectly right. And definitely uh, in less attempts than the last time. Are we there? Come on. There we go. There we go. We've done it. We have successfully parked the trailer so we can uh, drop it off. All right. An excellent rating. That is awesome. Not bad. Diggers uh, delivered from uh, Duesburg to... Uh, Castle or Castle, I don't even know how you say it yet, but and we also get to uh, add a new skill point So high value cargo. I've already ranked up twice. Um, I could also add something to my ADR training um, But let's rank up our long distance actually because I want to get out of like this uh, this general area So let's apply that and um, let's See what jobs we have available And all right, so we've got pressure tanks forklifts an excavator, um, let's see, we've got more pressure tanks, an excavator, forklifts, um, yeah, so pressure tanks and forklifts and excavators, that's what we really have available to us right now, let's see what we got out of Cassell, we got ore, that's interesting, um, we got an excavator out of, out of, um, Liege, I guess, maybe? I don't know, um, 
We could, uh, next we could do the logs, um, maybe the cheese, <laughs> no, I don't know. Um, but if you guys enjoyed this video and this episode of Euro Truck Simulator 2, do not forget to leave me a like, tell me in the comment section below what you thought of it, and if you're new to my channel, don't forget to subscribe for more, so you can be here for, uh, my journey of working my way up to my own trucking company, and also for any mods I install in this game in the future, so hope you guys enjoyed, and I will see you guys later. Tomcat out.